Meteorologist Amanda Paff is tracking the tropics very closely right now. Right now we're keeping an eye on the Caribbean, so that's what I need you to know. So there's three different areas that we're watching along with the National Hurricane Center and it's over towards the central portion of the Atlantic, right? We have two different areas of development. They look like they're moving towards us, but they're not. They're going to actually take a turn right back out into sea. We're not worried about those two. It's the one that has a 40% chance for development out there in the Caribbean. So nothing, let me stress to you, nothing has formed. We're just watching that area area. The area itself has some disorganization in terms of thunderstorms, right? So we're watching the Caribbean closely because the computer models keep popping out something from over the Yucatan Peninsula. And right now this is the American model. One of the major two that we use. We use the American and European when it comes to tropical forecasting. I've been doing this for years, guys, and let me tell you from my experience, I know this is definitely going to change what you see right here and you know it too. If you lived here long enough, we definitely have that major pop probability of something forming over the Yucatan. That's I would say about 95%. We'll have something over the Yucatan heading into Tuesday, Wednesday, or even Thursday. Then it'll be moving into the Gulf as we head into late next week. Where it goes from there is going to be the major question right now. We see on our American model right here that it does have a good idea that it could potentially be impacting the Gulf Coast, especially anywhere from Texas all the way to the Panhandle. So including us here in Florida, especially for the Tampa Bay area, we got to keep an eye on this one. The European looking to put it more towards the western portion of the Gulf. But either way, look, this is the time September to see all of this tropical activity.